All right, we got some more information <clears throat> for you as it relates to China and Japan. Get a Bible, and get, get some coffee, get yourself relaxed. This is the 21st of September, 2012, four days away for what could be the sixth time that a mega quake hits the world on the 188-day cycle. We're watching that close as well. Hong Kong is reporting dispute between China and Japan over a desolate jumble of rocky islands in the East China Sea has taken a familiar turn with Beijing deploying a fleet of military patrol ships while similar Japanese vessels steam out to the waters in response. As in earlier disputes over rocks and small islands in the South China Sea, Beijing is relying on these vessels rather than more menacing warships to assert its sovereignty over the disputed islands. While both sides, the highly, the presence of a lightly armed warships reduces the risk of conflict and, uh, but everybody gets the same face. Here's the difference though. China, or Japan bought these three islands from a private owner. Yet China says they own them. And so protesting went on this past week in China against Japanese embassies. And we're talking 80,000. Yet in communist China, protesting is not legal. They don't have freedom of speech. They don't have the right to assemble. But the Chinese government allowed the people to protest because it was okay to protest against the Japanese as long as they weren't protesting against them. The hypocrisy of communism. But wait, there's more. The Americans who hadn't done anything also were protested against by the Chinese people. They converged on the American embassy this week, including damaging the car of American ambassador to China, Gary Locke. What? Did you hear about it on the news? No, you didn't. Thank God you're here at YouTube. And Pastor Beg, they try to keep you up to speed. So we've got North Korea situation this morning. Breaking news. South Korea has fired shots at a North Korean fishing boat. And we have China has sent military ships out to protect three islands that the Japanese own. And they've sent ships in response, and there's been protesting at the Japanese embassy and the American embassies going on right now. And don't even want to talk about Pakistan that's blowing sky high right now. We're praying for the peace. We're praying for the people. We're praying for cooler heads to prevail. But folks, this thing is getting ugly out there. And I do have more information about the North Korea, South Korea situation. North North Korea naval ships were involved in Friday's incident that took place, uh, which was a different incident. There was an incursion by North Korean military and fishing boats. Um, so today, North Korea did send some ships out there into the tense western sea boundaries uh, that the North has long refused to recognize belongs to the South. Right now is in the height of the crab fishing season. There's a lot of boats out there. And the North Koreans' fishing boats got into South Korean waters. And South Korea didn't hesitate to fire warning shots at the North Korean fishing boats. Now, there's been some conflicts in the past. And back in 1999, several dozen were killed. So pray for the North Korea-South Korea tension Pray for the China-Japan tension and pray for radical Islam's reaction to America over their freedom of speech in a 13-minute video on YouTube. You Leave YouTube alone. The question is, why is radical Islamists reacting the way they are? Folks, we need to pray because the American embassies all over the world are being attacked. All over the Middle East, 25 nations all over Europe, and now in China over something they haven't even done for no reason. 
just because America is an ally of Japan. Are you praying? Because the Bible told us in the last days there would be wars and rumors of wars. Matter of fact, let me read to you what the scripture says. Uh, very familiar to some of you, but to others, first time you've ever heard it. When Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, when his disciples came to him privately and asked him this question, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrow. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Because we are seeing a world turning upside down. Are you serious? Are you serious? Overreaction on, on different... Res and now my beeper's going off. What? Time's almost up. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ.